Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man with some information that might affect some of you in smaller TV markets. On May 15th, Sinclair will shut down local newscasts on five TV stations. The affected TV stations include WNWO, NBC24 in Toledo, Ohio, KPTM, Fox 42 in Omaha, Nebraska, KTVL, CBS 10 in Medford, Oregon, KMEG in Sioux City, Iowa, and WGFL CBS4 in Gainesville, Florida. An article on TVNewsCheck.com reports that local newscasts on these stations will be replaced with the National Desk, a national newscast produced by Sinclair that features content from local newsrooms across the country. This cost-cutting move comes just a few weeks after Sinclair-owned Diamond Sports Group, which operates Valley Sports, filed for bankruptcy. Sinclair also recently cut morning and weekend newscasts from NBC25 WEYI in Saginaw, Michigan, and Fox 8 WWCP in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. But wait, there's more! According to an FTV Live article, Sinclair cut newsroom staff at WACH in Columbia, South Carolina, WGXA in Macon, Georgia, WSMH in Flint, Michigan, and KAEF in Eureka, California. All the affected TV stations seem to be in small markets where there's probably limited ad revenue to support a local newscast. My guess is that most, if not all, these newsrooms had a bare-bones staff with limited resources, resulting in low ratings. Quotes within the TVNewsCheck.com article directly back my claim. We were all in a room together when a person from Sinclair announced news was not meeting ratings expectations and therefore not appealing to high dollar sponsorships. We couldn't hire anyone. The quality of work was diminishing and some of us, like me, were doing three positions. You can find links to both articles I referenced in the description of the video. I'm starting to notice a trend in television that's eerily similar to radio. Large corporate owners are slowly replacing local programming with national programming, just like radio. I sound the alarm about the negative effects media consolidation has on local newsrooms in a video I made nearly four years ago. Here are a few clips from it. Sinclair Broadcast Group operates the ABC, NBC, and Fox affiliates in that market. And what would have been three totally separate newscasts is now one. Take a look. Wildfire covering several hundred acres has kept crews in Center several County. Several hundred busy. acres has kept crews in Center County busy. Several hundred acres has kept crews in Center County. In my market, Nexstar operates both the NBC and CBS affiliates. And at one time, they had separate newscasts with totally different anchors covering different areas. But what happened over time is Nexstar just started to cut costs at WYOU, which was a CBS affiliate, and slowly but surely make their newscast so bad that basically no one watched it. And then they threw in the towel about 10 years ago. So now they produce one single newscast that airs at the same time on both the NBC and CBS affiliate. This resulted in layoffs of 14 personnel that worked in WYU's news department. If you're in an area where local news was reduced or eliminated by Sinclair, the good news is that other TV stations in the market will still offer local newscasts, at least for now. In my opinion, local news is what makes local TV stations stand out. Companies like Sinclair and Nexstar really need to invest in local newsrooms instead of cutting them. Hopefully this trend of shutting down newscasts doesn't continue. Otherwise, local TV may end up like AM radio. A dying medium that's basically on life support. More on this in a future video. Before I end this video, I want to take a moment to acknowledge all the hardworking staff members in the soon-to-be shuttered newsrooms. They likely worked extremely hard to produce a newscast with what limited resources they had. Props to all of you and best of luck in your future careers. For those of you that don't want to work for a big media company ever again may find yourself not able to find a job working local TV that isn't owned by a big media company, consider starting a YouTube channel. After all, I've been able to make a living talking about TV antennas, you can definitely make a living covering the local issues in your community, sort of as your own reporter. Start your own little local newscast on a YouTube channel. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. 
If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash AntennaManPA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list and I include a link in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.